Hey guys, this is Sarah with Stay Listed. Um, this is just a quick video to show you the different sections of the Google search engine page so you know um, what people are talking about when they're talking about different sections, especially when it comes to marketing and digital marketing for your business. So I'm just going to type in Plumber Phoenix AZ. So here's the search results page. I have a couple apps on here. You won't have those. You don't have to worry about them. The first section we're going to look at here is the local service ads section, and that's at the top here. Um, as you can see, it has the business name, contact information, and it says Google Guaranteed. So this section is specifically for service businesses such as locksmiths, plumbers, electricians, and people can submit a request and then Google will send those leads to their you know, service companies who can fulfill those. You're going to be paying per lead. Um, last time we looked into it, it was about $25 to $30 per lead. And this is something that you can't buy into. I couldn't set this up for you if you asked Stay Listed to do this for you. This is something that you have to go through Google for. And that's because they do background checks uh, because of that Google guarantee and they really want to make sure that everybody's on top of their game if they're going to be in this section. I do have an article that we wrote on our blog about this so I will go ahead and link that in the description below. Um, the next section we have is the Google Ads section used to be called AdWords um, so this section is a pay-per-click section so every time you click on one of these ads you're charging that person um, for that click um, the click changes depending on the cost of the click changes depending on the keyword um, the target location um, and in you know a lot goes into this so uh, this is the Google Ads section it is worth it to point out that um, in order to be in this pay-per-click section you do need um, an ad budget which usually ends up being a little costly at first if you're not expecting it. Um, so that says um, that say I have a $400 ad budget then every time somebody clicks on my ad and it costs five dollars it's going to take five dollars out of that ad budget. Once I run out of budget my ad doesn't show anymore. However in most cases we do see that the return on investment um, into these ads is usually worthwhile. Below that, we have the local pack. So this is where Google My Business listings show up. Um, the first three are going to show up on the search engine results page. And that's what we see here. You can also click on more places and that is gonna show you a lot more options. Only the first three are ever going to show up. And this is where you're gonna see people's um, you know, star ratings and their reviews. You can also see you know, their website, if they have their website, phone numbers, you can call them directly from here if you're on your phone. Um, this is actually what shows up when you're looking for um, location-based businesses on your phone as well. Below that is the organic section. So the organic section is where websites rank naturally. So through SEO purposes or you know, services is where you're going to see um, your website move up these rankings past your competitors. Um, here you see Plumbing Masters AZ. This is somebody whose website is ranking organically for a pretty awesome keyword, Plumber Phoenix AZ. So that means that every time somebody types in Plumber Phoenix AZ, they have the opportunity to click on his website and, and utilize his services. Even though there's all these different sections above the organic section, a lot of studies have shown that most people scroll past these because as a society, we ignore ads because we're used to them being thrown at us all the time, so we just naturally ignore them. So most clicks do happen in this local pack and in the organic section, which is why you'll see most SEO companies and small businesses are really focusing on being in the top three on either of these sections. So it is worth it to say that um, most of your customers, if they say they found you on Google, it's gonna be in one of these sections. If you're doing ads, they might have clicked you here. If they saw your Google listing, they might have clicked you here, or they might have found your website and clicked you here. So um, it is always good to find out, especially if you have a bunch of different marketing channels, where your customers are finding you from. That way you can attribute that lead 
to that marketing service, um, especially if you're using different companies for each service. You want to make sure that you're getting your return on investment for everything that you're spending. So that's just a quick rundown of the you know, Google search engine page. And um, if you have you know, any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm also going to attach a couple blog articles that I feel like would be helpful, such as the local service ads article if you're interested in that. Um, maybe some information on Google ads in case you're interested in that. Um, all right, great. Thanks.